Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the new ESV Diadem Reference Edition from Cambridge Bibles. Okay, I'm excited about this one today. We're going to take a closer look at the new Cambridge Diadem. This is basically, they're taking their Pitt Minion reference edition and they're blowing it up a little bit to a slightly larger size called the Diadem. And it's first coming out in the ESV. These two different hardcover editions, this one has the Apocrypha, this one does not have the Apocrypha. And they're also going to be coming out with leather-bound editions in the ESV next year. And my hope is that Cambridge is going to expand this to other translations of the Bible. So I've reviewed the Pitt Minion before. It's a really great, classic, two-column reference Bible. It's it's small, and, and then it, it pairs really nicely with Cambridge's Wide Margin Bible. So they have all of these different translations in this type setting, but they, they, they had a really small one, and then they had a big wide margin version. And now we have this really great mid-sized Bible. It expands the text a little bit from the Pit Minion. I mean, for me, I love the Pit Minion when it's like on the go and travel, but the, the font is starting to be, as the older I get, the font gets smaller and smaller. And so I love having this one with a, it's about 20% bigger, I think. And so it's, it just looks great. It feels great. I'm excited to take a look at these. They, um, they, like I said, they have other editions coming out. Hopefully they're going to be expanding into other translations. I just think they've done a really good job with this Bible. It offers something new in Cambridge. Cambridge's line that's really cool. It's called the Diadem. So you have the last Bible they came out with, the new design was called the Topaz. And now you have the Diadem, which is the jewel in the crown. I really like this Bible and I'm excited to show it to you. In this video, I'm just going to give you all the specs. I'm going to do an overhead here and show you this Bible in detail so you can see if this is right for you. That's what I'm trying to do here at Bible Review Blog is help you find a Bible that's right for you. So before we dive in, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. This is the ESV Diadem in hardcover from Cambridge Bibles. Okay, here we have them side by side on the left in the kind of dark navy blue cover is the ESV diadem without the Apocrypha. And then you can see the purple one. It notes there that it does come with the Apocrypha. As far as the size goes, they're, they're about a quarter of an inch difference. This is an inch and a half thick with the Apocrypha and about an inch and a quarter thick without. Um, overall size, they're both going to be the same. At the text block, it's five and three quarters inches wide and eight and a quarter inches tall. So it's really nice, kind of mid-size Bible. Um, really nice slipcase. So you see this one has the kind of crown of thorns look on there, and then the Apocrypha, you can see the image of Christ. Both of them, when you take this off, have this like blue hardcover with that diadem crown of thorns logo, and it says Holy Bible on the spine. It's gonna say English Standard Version diadem reference. The other one notes that it has the Apocrypha. Real nice. I'm gonna push this one over here real quick and just focus on this guy as we walk through it. So kind of a, a almost like a faux leather in sheet there. Navy on navy looks nice. It does have a, a single ribbon. These do not come art gilded or anything like that. It's, it's all just kind of simple hardcover, square cut edges. You do see that one has the little blue and white head and tail bands. Looks real sharp. It's very clean. It's very, it's got a sewn binding, so it's going to hold up well over time. It's just a pretty simple, again, I think this one's about a little over $30, and the, the larger one's going to be closer to $40 or $50, but really, really nice. So opening this up, um, like I said, there's that end sheet in there, big, thick cardstock presentation page, Holy Bible, English Standard Version. Stick around, uh, and at the end of this, I'll show you a comparison with the Pitt Minions. The Pitt Minions. So here's the copyright page. Cambridge University Press, ESV from 2016. Down here at the very bottom, we see the ESV Diadem Reference Edition, first published in 2021. This has 8.2 type. The, online, they say 8.1. Printed in the Czech Republic. Sorry, printed and bound in Belarus. The paper is from the Czech Republic. So... Really nice look. There's the uh, table of contents, books of the Bible in alphabetical order. You get your preface to the English Standard Version. Paper feels really nice. It's got a nice feel to it. So this paper in this Bible is 36 GSM. When they release the leather editions, I'm, I'm told it's going to be a 32 GSM. So I did notice this. Uh, right here after the explanation of the features in this Bible is a chronology of rulers during biblical times. I don't remember this being in the Pitt Minion, and I, 
I think it's a reference to the fact that it's called the diadem and the diadem, you know, is the jewel and the crown. So I think that's, I don't know if that's supposed to be tongue in cheek or anything, but I love this in here. It's just a little, a little table here um, at the beginning of the Bible before you get to the weights and measures and then the Old Testament. So um, there you have it. I'll bring this up for you. Pretty straightforward. Two column text, center column, cross references. The cross references for the left column of the text are justified there at the center or the top of the center column. The ones at the bottom of the center column are for the right column of text. And then you see the footnotes here on the bottom right of the page. If we go to the second page, you notice that it's still the same place. The footnotes are at the bottom right of each page. 36 GSM page, you see a little bit of ghosting, but it's very, very nice. It looks very sharp. This is an 8.1 lexicon typeface. As I'll show you in a moment, that's about 20% larger than what was in the pit minion. It's very comfortable to me. It's not, it's not large print. It's not, it's not super big, but, it's a, but for a Bible still this size, that's less than nine inches tall, less than six inches wide. It's a very, very comfortable font. I'm now here probably two feet away from it, standing over the Bible. Really, really comfortable really comfortable to read. It looks great. So you do get cross references. You do get the textual footnotes. Very, very straightforward. Um, I, I've always loved this. I love the lexicon typeface. It's got a very clean, classic look to it. And then this, this design with the lines separating the two columns and the center column cross references, it just feels very traditional and classic to me. If you're a fan of the pit menu, you know, it's just a really solid Bible. Um, there is a little bit of margin space you see there. Probably that's probably just under a half inch. And this is it, very consistent all the way throughout. Um, it's a black letter text on this edition. The hardcover editions are both going to be black letter text, whereas when they come out with the leather editions, those are going to have red letter for the words of Christ. So really beautiful, straightforward. I'm just going to bring this up. You can kind of read some of the New Testament. I really like this text block a lot. At the end of the Bible, at the end of Revelation, you get a concordance. They have the spaces up here, a three column concordance. It's a pretty robust concordance, I like it a lot. And then you get, here is the, oops, the Cambridge Bible Maps, slightly thicker cardstock paper. It's not, um, it's like, it's almost like between glossy and cardstock. I don't think it's a glossy paper, but you can see it has a little reflection to it. It has a little bit of sheen to it, but it's not like thick, glossy, glossy paper in, in the slightest. So I'll pull over real quick the edition with the Apocrypha. I've marked it here so you can see. I believe these are the 18 books that match up with the Revised Standard Version. So if you want to freeze frame that just to see which ones, but you know, they've set it up exactly the same. Um, one of the cool things about this, they start the numbering over at the New Testament. Um, and so you'll still be able to match up with page numbers. And if you have an ESV pit minion or an ESV wide margin, it will be the exact same pagination. So if you're using one or the other, even if you add in the Apocrypha on this one, that will still work for you. So that's really nice. Now, set this inside again. So here is the diadem. And you see I have an NIV. I don't have an ESV pit minion on it, but you see right here, there's your big difference. So that is, you can see, this is a 6.75 font, much smaller page size. Look at that. Center that up a little bit. So significantly taller, slightly wider. And then when I bring this up, I'm not in the same section of the text, but you can just see this. It's a significant bump in the typesetting. You're 6.75, oops, sorry, I'm losing it. 6.75 for the pit minion, 8.1 for the diadem. So really great. So if, if I had an ESV pit minion, I could turn to page 352 in the Old Testament and it would look exactly the same as that over here. It'd be totally lined up. If you wanted something a little bit bigger to read from, I like that. I just, I think the diadem is, you know, obviously they're gonna have nicer leather editions like this, but I think it's a really, really sharp addition to the Cambridge line. It makes a lot of sense. It's a full on reference Bible with a concordance, cross references, textual footnotes. These are very clean and simple, affordable, and then they're gonna have the nicer leather options coming out later. But overall, it looks really great. It's a solid Bible. So there you have it. That's the ESV diadem from Cambridge Bibles. Two different 
hardcover editions. Now, as I mentioned earlier, they're going to be releasing these next year in leather-bound editions that are going to have red letters. But right now, these two hardcover editions are available, and they're less than $50 a piece. So a couple of these, I think, places online have them for, like the, the one without the Apocrypha, for just over $30. So this is a fantastic Bible for that price that you should definitely consider. So I'll put some links in the description of this video to where you can purchase one of those. As always, I'd love to hear from you, so leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this one. Find us on Instagram and Facebook. We've got a great Bible review blog community out there on social media. And before you go, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I've got a bunch of great videos. I have an unboxing of this that you definitely need to check out. That was fun. I have more unboxing videos and other Bible-related content as well. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.